We're going to talk about the sewing guide reference chart that is stored right underneath the ruler. You just pull that out, stays attached, and it's right here. This is like having your own little sewing manual and sewing teacher right at your fingertips. So let me show you how you're going to read it. So first off, Viking is known to always give you recommendations for different fabrics. So right up here, we have a symbol for woven fabric. So if you're working with anything like denim fabric, cottons, linens, that type of thing, we're gonna look at the column first. This second column has a picture up here for stretch fabrics, knits, um, anything that has give in it, sweatshirt fabrics, fleeces too, that's gonna be the second column. And then this little symbol at the top uh, is for leather or vinyl suede, that type of thing. I always, it always looks like roadkill to me, so that's how I remember it. So that's the, the third column. Also at the top is a notation of pressure, how much firmness the foot needs to sit on the fabric for ideal sewing. So for the regular fabrics, you're gonna leave it on three. Those stretchy fabrics, when that pressure is really, really sitting hard on your fabric, it stretches it out. Have you ever seen it kind of come out a little wavy? Well, they have you adjust the pressure to one. And that's gonna be on the side of your machine, on the left side, above your needle, you'll see a dial there and we'll talk about it. But that is gonna have you reduce it to one and then two for your leather and suede uh, fabrics. Then the symbols down on the side here are gonna reference different techniques. So the very first one would be if you're doing a seam on woven fabric and here are the settings that you'll need. The second one is overcast. Third one, seam and overcast, where it kind of does it all at once, kind of like a serger. Love this uh, setting right here. The fourth one is based. So for uh, longer stitches that are used in some of the fabrics, like the leather, that way it doesn't leave marks and doesn't perforate your, your fabric. The next one is a blind hem. The, third, the next one is a hem that would be visible. This is great for stretch fabrics too. And the last one is a buttonhole. Now, as you look across, it's gonna give you a couple symbols more. The one by the stitch, the orange and gray stitches are showing you which stitches you're picking. The next one is the foot letter that you're gonna use. The next one is tension settings for that stitch. And then it will say an L and a W. The first one is L for length, and the second one is W for width. And this will really get you set up and in the right ballpark for any of your projects.